So when we see clients who are going through those kind of processes, I would suggest colleagues have a look at their process of insecurities to see if it's heightened or not. You'll find that very simply. <laughs> I like simple. You'll find that very simply. If a client on their own, not a couple, just a client coming to you on their own, is an insecure process, they will, by their communication, make you aware of it. They will either refer decisions to you or check with you whether or not what they're saying is correct by using words like, do you get it? Do you understand what I mean? Those kind of conversational processes, if they're done repetitively, not just a one-off, but if it's yeah. a topic of the conversation, then that, generally speaking, there's an insecurity working somewhere. If they elaborate, and what I call it is paint pictures, but lose content. So they give you lots and lots and lots of detail and move the story all over the place. But they don't give you the succinct aspect of whatever it is they're working with. Then generally speaking, you're probably on insecurity working. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I hadn't made those connections, but that, that makes sense to me. Like you can pick that up. Yeah, you can notice that by, by those things, yeah. Indeed, absolutely. And I learned that when I came through doing the, uh, the teaching, the Sir Ted, because in the Sir Ted we were taught to recognise in people their preferred method of learning by their actions, reactions, interactions. So you don't need to ask them a questionnaire. You find out via watching the person. Yeah. So if somebody says that I see, for example, as a repetitive processes, they're visual orientated, preferred.